All right, here's another related rate example. A 13-foot ladder is sliding down a wall at a rate of 2 feet per second. When the bottom of the ladder is 5 feet from the base of the wall, A, how fast is the bottom of the ladder sliding away from the wall? Okay, so let's start with drawing the picture. Label this X, label this Y. We know that this is 13. Okay. Next, the rates. Well, I know that dy dt is negative 2. And I'm looking for dx dt. So the equation. And actually, let me just put 13 squared here because we know that that is an unchanging quantity. So the derivative, 2x dx dt plus 2y dy dt equals, and the derivative of, zero, of 13 squared is 0. Okay. So now we substitute in everything we know. Solve for what we don't. Let's see, the bottom is 5 feet away, so 5 dx dt plus 2. We don't know why, but we could easily solve for it using a little Pythagorean theorem. We know this is 5. The side was 13. That makes this 12 using Pythagorean theorem. Oh, and I know what dy dt is. It's uh, negative 2. So if you solve this, you end up with uh, 24 fifths or 4.8 feet per second. Okay. Next, at what rate is the angle of the bottom of the ladder mixed with the ground? So now we're redoing this a little bit and we're looking for theta. So I'm going to kind of put my work like this. Okay. Now... The rates, I'm going to kind of extend. We know those dy dt and dx dt and dz dt. Now I'm looking for d theta dt. So the equation, well now I need, uh, I need something with an angle. I like to use tangent. So tangent theta is equal to, in my case, uh, y divided by x. So... As I do the derivative, the derivative of tangent is secant squared theta, d theta dt. And the derivative of y over x, I'm going to need quotient rules. So I'm going to use low d high minus high d low, cross the line and square the low. So as I go to substitute and solve, uh, let me start with the uh, right side, the quotient rule side, because I know that x uh, was 5, dy dt was negative 2, uh, y was 12, and dx dt was 4.8, all over uh, 5 squared. Uh, and you can type that into your calculator. Um, I think, well, let me just kind of write it right up Above it, it's negative 2.704. Okay, so now I need to figure out what secant squared is equal to, so I can divide and get to d theta dt. So let me just remind you here that secant, remember, it's the reciprocal of cosine. So using this triangle up here, cosine is um, adjacent over hypotenuse. So the secant. It's the reciprocal, it's 13 over 5. So secant squared is 169 divided by 25. Okay, so I have 169 divided by 25. Just bring this right down there. Uh, d theta dt. Kind of run out of room, but you can divide then both sides. Negative 2.704 divided by 169 25ths. And we get 
negative 0.4 as our answer. Of course, that would be radians per second.